Reads Biology welcomes everyone watching this video. We have started Chapter 2 Biological Classification. If you are new, I will suggest to watch the part 1 of Chapter 2 first, then come back and watch the part 2. Today we will learn about Kingdom Protista. They are complex eukaryotes with nucleus and all cell organelles, mainly single cellular or rarely multicellular. Uni means one or single and multi means many. These kingdom organisms demonstrate both animal and plant-like characteristics. Some members have chlorophyll and can make their own food. They are autotrophs. Some cannot make food and they are heterotrophs. Green algae, brown algae, red algae, diatoms, dinoflagellates, euglenoids are some example of autotrophs. And amoeboids, ciliates, zooflagellates, sporanzoans, plasmodial slime molds are some example of heterotrophs. Kingdom Protista is subdivided into five different types. Basophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, and protozoans. Let's start with basophytes. They are also known as golden algae because of their gold-colored chloroplast. They are aquatic, both freshwater and marine water organisms. They are microscopic and float passively in water currents, so they are planktons. Most of them are photosynthetic, can make their own food. Diatoms and golden algae or desmids are some example of them. Diatoms form thin overlapping shells on their cell wall. These are embedded with silica, so they are indestructible. So diatoms live behind large amount of cell wall deposit in their habitat. This accumulation over billions of years is known as diatomaceous earth. This soil is used in polishing, filtration of oils and syrups. Diatoms are also known as the chief producers in oceans. The next one, the dinoflagellates. They are mostly marine and photosynthetic. They are yellow, green, brown, blue, or red in color. Their cell wall has stiff cellulose plates on their outer surface. Most of them has two flagella. One lies longitudinally and other transversely. Sometimes red dinoflagellates like goniolax undergo rapid multiplication and they make C appear as red. This is known as red tides. This is highly toxic. And toxin released by these can kill other marine animals. So dangerous they are. The next one, euglenoids. They are fresh water organisms found in mainly stagnant water. They don't have any cell wall, but have protein-rich layer called pellicle that makes them flexible. They have two flagella, a long one and a short one. They are photosynthetic in presence of sunlight. In absent or deprived sunlight, they act like heterotrophs by predating on smaller organisms. Pretty creepy, right? Pigments of them are identical to those present in the higher plants. Example, Euglena. The fourth one are the plasmodial slime molds. Most species of them are brightly pigmented. Single mass of cytoplasm is divided into many membranes containing many nuclei. Feeding stage of them are phagocytosis. For plasma membrane of the cell engulfs food particle. In unfavorable habitat conditions, they cease their growth and differentiates into sexually reproducing stage.
the last one are the protozoans. They're heterotrophs, mainly predators or parasites. They are primitive relatives of animals. They have four groups. Amoebite protozoans, flagellated protozoans, ciliated protozoans, and sporozoans. Let's start with amoebite protozoans. They live in fresh water, seawater, or moist soil. They move and capture their prey by putting out pseudopodia or false feet, like phagocytosis. Their marine forms have silica shells on their surface. Amoeba, intermeba are some examples of them. Next one are the flagellated protozoans. They are flea living or parasitic. They have flagella. So the name flagellated protozoans came from. Their parasitic form can cause disease like sleeping sickness. Example, trypanosoma. The third one is the ciliated protozoans. They are aquatic. They are actively moving organisms because of presence of thousands of cilia. They have a cavity or gullet that opens outside of their cell surface. Coordinated movement of rows of cilia causes the water laden with food to be steered into gullet. This is how they feed themselves. Example, Paramecium. The last one are the sporozoans. They are diverse organisms that have an infectious pore-like stage in their life cycle. Most infectious is plasmodium or malarial parasite, which cause malaria. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, press like and share with your friends and family. If you are new here, click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Chapter 1 video links are shared in the description box. Take care. Bye.